Roger once again, my Fossil University, talking about the Higgs boson, which we have photographed, and we I will show you momentarily. This is from Extreme Tech, a couple of years ago, looking for the Higgs boson, and here's what they say. They called the boson that went with the Higgs, because the Higgs field, they called the boson that went with the Higgs field, the Higgs boson. So we have a boson particle and headed by the field. The Higgs boson, it is the so-called force carrier for the Higgs field. So it is the particle that brings a field with it, and here I will show you that. These are light experiments that we did, uh, Rod Warren and I did, uh, and this is the ether that is in the air that has become polarized and illuminated with a special technique, special illumination technique. This is the field that com comes with the particles that go forward from a red laser. Alright, that wave is now being forced into a Venturi accelerator which creates an enormous restriction and accelerates the the light wave the particle into extreme high high energy white high energy and you can see it breaks off here and steps down as it comes into the the um, unrestricted space but it the, the crushing of it creates this enormous reverse magnetic field any interaction with these particles creates magnetic fields and that's what these boson fields are talking about so there's a lot of other interactions than just a little boson field with a force carrier if that's what they call this I'm calling an electron with an ether disk at its head it is a magnetic field at the head of a magnetic particle. That's all it is. It's the exact same thing that happens in a wire, except the wire is a continuous flow. This is a particle, and it carries one disk with it, and I will show you that. All right, I showed you the wave. I showed you the acceleration. This is the accelerator coming at us, the rays. If you can see these little tiny flakes of white coming up, they attach each one of them to one of these disks. The disk is the magnetic field that is where the light particle is, and it surrounds it. The light particle is the force carrier. The faster it goes, the more obvious the magnetic field. Now, these are coming out of the accelerator, so we're seeing the magnetic field in an extreme, probably, uh, you know, more than you would normally see. I, I really can't tell you. But I can also tell you that this white particle has come through here in the extreme range of, 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 of mass. Um, and, and these are mass particles. These particles have a mass to them. Each one of them is a particle. These are what they are talking about, his Higgs boson particles. The boson is the particles. The Higgs field is this. This is the boson particle, this is the Higgs field. Now that's what they're talking about as far as I'm concerned. Now, I'm going to show you what happens with this extremely powerful particle. Now, I, I'm calling it a particle. That's all I can say. And I'm going to show you what happens to it. These are all almost similar. You'd say, oh, they're probably all about the same. One's going a little faster than the other. That is a whole different situation. Now, let's take a look at that. All right, there's that particle coming through. And it is, it's, it's white and it's dense and it's hard and it's heavy and it's, it, the reason it is this way is because it is accelerated faster than these other disks. And the reason I can say that is because it's, it's caught up to this and crashed into this disk. These disks are all floating together, they're all sort of coming in the same mode and speed and orientation. This one came flying through there and looking for a guy to smash into it, and this is the guy he smashed into. This field interact with this field, it gave off this mini field. Now what is that? If these are light particles, or Higgs particles, and these are the Higgs fields, or I'm calling them electrons and magnetic fields, same thing, I, I, I believe. And this is all ether. What is that?
that would that in other words that's smaller than the rest of them so we got an issue with that now I told you the accelerator here's the accelerator it's coming out of here as a blob blur chaos absolute nightmarish conditions coming through the accelerator and then they step down for two waves which show the particle as, as it strobes through in, in the speed of our camera setup it, it picks up two strobes like a, a wagon wheel slowing down how they all of a sudden they stop in the middle of it and they appear to be these particles and um, so it comes down here and then we're seeing our strobe of of the camera is picking it up boom, like that so these two show up here a couple of discs out and and that's what they are I don't know that's all I can show you is what we're seeing they look like the old atomic symbols and um, and and they were they whoops they were this nature here then we see them here and then we see them turn to this this has a black white black this has white black white and these are this flip-flop in the middle with the spikes coming out the top now I was suspecting that was a Taurus I have no clue what it is um, but I can tell you one thing it appears to be the particle that they're talking about it's the tiniest particle there is it is light I think it's an electron they call it a Higgs boson they call it anything you want but it is that particle disk polarizing a field of ether surrounding the charge carrier it is everything that they look for you know I, I went back and I gave it a little more thought and it, it seems to be obvious when I started to think about it is they all these things basically were coming through that accelerator at, at a similar speed this one was the exception well, it bumped into this, and if it did, what would happen? It would, it would give off a little piece of itself as slower, and that's the reason this is smaller. It's, it's just slower than these, apparently. That's the only thing I can come up with. It's just it's moving slower because that would be the effect. It would bump into there. That would slow this one down, and it seems to be taking on the same shape as this. And, 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 and because it's taken on the same sh shape as this, it had to discharge a little. That's all I can see. I, I really am perplexed about this, to be perfectly honest with you. But let me show you what, over the top of the slit where the, uh, the chaos is. All right, we'll leave it with this. But th this is the, the accelerators over here. They come out of here in literal plasma, and actually Rod says he can hear them sizzle, actually sizzle like steak at, at some times when they're coming through this accelerator. Now, as you can see, they're coming from a higher energy to a lesser energy, lesser energy, until they get into the very red range. But you see them, they're overlapping, they're coming across each other's path. That's because the light is spinning through that, that slot. Now... I don't know what else to say. I, you know, they, they want to see like this one here banging in down here. These are the kind of things that we were picking up on. Um, these these step downs that give off extra energy. You see how it's it's away, and then all of a sudden it something happened here. Same thing here. They're stepped away from from the main chaos, but still had en enough energy to cause a problem. And you can see how the, these are basically the the disc patterns of you know the light strobe so that's all I can say is what well I'm looking at you're looking at if you can have a different interpretation that's fine I have no problem with that but um, I can only see what I see and that's what I saw